the bottom floor of this Sears flat out smells like weed. I just think it's funny how people think they can just carry so much weed around that they smell things up. This redo of this mall has been trying not to get many people in the shot here, but it's interesting all the things they've done to this mall. This mall was originally built in 1965, and they've done so many redos on it, but I gotta say that this, the latest redo they did on this is decent. The flooring that they have is pretty decent looking. Right in this spot, it's an interesting blend of different eras. That skylight, I don't know, that skylight makes me think of uh, 90s. This storefront used to have straw sticking out of the roof. $120 jeans, anyone? One of the many stores that makes the mall smell for at least 200 feet. This Macy's that used to be the Bon, of course, and then it was Bon Macy's, and then it's just Macy's, over this way used to have an entrance uh, that had this kind of a spiral staircase and a, uh, and a, uh, a fountain, a really cool looking fountain with kind of a very 60s design, but it was, it was very cool and it led down to the bottom floor. Well, now there's no way to get through without going through the perfume section. <laughs> and this display, I can see the 60 cycle uh, refresh rate of these. But it's kind of a cool display they got. The Apple stores always remind me of something you'd find in Second Life. Want some t-shirts that'll fall apart? Old Navy, sitting on a pile of cornbread. Years ago, in another location, in this same mall, this was a music land. Then it became Sam Goody. Then it became For Your Entertainment. Hmm, jeans at Nordstrom, how much will they be? Hmm, yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. This new location for Nordstrom, I don't think is nearly as classy as the old one was. In the old one, they even had a, uh, at the bottom of the uh, escalators, they had a someone playing the piano all the time, and now they're just playing pop radio. I'll take that cheap pendant for 500, Alex. Here are some spots that you can really see some of the 60s architecture, but they did their best to cover it up by putting these fronts on the pillars. I mean, it looks nice and it really matches well with the floor, but uh, you can definitely still see the 60s architecture going on. And, uh, but they did a good job. They did a good job on it. Natural beauty with products. Are you a sign huffer? It's the Kia Sephora. Oh, wait. Just to explain what that whole thing was about, about going to the mall at all, and hanging out at the mall, is all the fires, all the forest fires that are happening in Oregon, and uh, horizontally centered uh, in Washington fires, you know, more towards eastern Washington, uh, it's made the whole sky almost orange and like the sun's out and it looks like there's a sunset, you know. And the past couple days I've been having some migraines. Lots of the uh, migraine visions, like the, you know, they call them auras. Where it's like, if you don't know what that's even like, it's like... Okay, you know when you're in a house that has a ceiling fan? And you're not looking at the ceiling fan anymore. But in your peripheral vision, you see something going, 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 kind of going, you know. Well, imagine that look that you have in your peripheral vision taking up a whole bunch of your vision. Uh, for me, it's the C shape. It's big old C shape. And uh, starts off really small, and then it gets bigger and bigger, and then eventually moves in this direction. 
and then goes away in about a half hour. And I've been getting those the past couple days, and I haven't had those in at least two or three years. So, you know, it was worrying me a little bit. And then every time I'd cough, I'd have this massive pain on this side of my face, the side of my head. Um, and uh, hypochondriac that I am, you know, I was I was starting to get concerned. And then today, you know, the sky was orange. <laughs> the sky was yellow, and uh, and I went, oh, that's what it is. So I was going to the mall to get out of the smoky air, and then I replaced that smoky air with perfumed air. Those places like bed, bath, body, whatever those those shops were that have so much of the scent. I almost wonder whether or not they they're doing something similar to Glade plugins or something because yeah, I, I, I smell like it. My clothing smells like it. I smell like it and I'm going okay, well <laughs> I guess I won't be going to that mall anymore. I mean it is fucking strong. I don't, I don't understand that. I, do they, I don't know, I get people like it, so, you know, I guess it sells. <sighs> Just thinking about how that, the migraine vision, and uh, how the, the word for it is auras. And I always think, auras, well that's what people see when, you know, they, they, they can see this They'll look at someone and they'll see this element about them. They'll, it'll be like a, a glowing or it'll be a color or something like that. And people will make fun of those that say that they see auras. And I'm just like, you know, to me an aura, when someone can see that, they don't really visually see it as that thing. It's, it's something their mind creates because they can subconsciously see a number of things about uh, you know, reading someone's expressions, reading someone's body language, and seeing what someone is emotionally. And I think I think that's a cool skill to be able to have. And whether or not it comes out in some way that isn't technically correct, I mean, whatever. If they can see things about someone, they can see things about someone. And I think that's cool. You know, whether you, well, they should really look at it the way that it is, you know, why? If it works for them, and it seems to be relatively accurate, and it helps them deal with people, then, you know, or it, may, it might help them relate with people, you know? I don't see that as something to make fun of, or try to get them to, oh, they need to look at it the realistic way. Yeah, whatever, you know? If it's not hurting anyone, who fucking cares? <laughs> anyway... Um, it's interesting when, when, uh, driving around seeing or smelling <laughs> how there's all these pockets of the smoke, um, where I live, there, there's quite a bit of it, but it's not as bad as on some of the areas on the way. But then when I'm on, uh, you know, 48th and... Uh, uh, Tacoma Mall Boulevard, there's hardly any of the smell at all. So, you know, I... God, there's been so much destruction from these fires. I don't know, I mean, the, the amount of acreage that's been burned is, is insane. And there's people that have, that have lost their lives, and they're not able to get enough, they're, they're, they're now to the point where they're getting, they're, they're, getting volunteers who, who aren't even firefighters to help, you know, I mean, it's extreme, it's really quite a situation, and I, I sure hope they can get some of this under control, this, this is, this is, these are the worst fires I can recall in, in my lifetime, um, in these areas, um, and then California has all the fires going on as well, I mean, this is a year of fires. Holy shit. Um, anyway. Uh, tomorrow I will probably just try to drive to some areas that, you know, when I, when I no longer smell the, the smoke much, I'll find somewhere to park and just sort of hang out outside or something. 
I don't want to go into that mall and, and, and be saturated with, with that scent anymore. So, um, anyway, 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 anyway.